guys and welcome to RC Cincy Extras. Today we have a gel blaster for you guys. This is the Nerf Pro Gel Fire. It's the Igniter. So this is a nice little pistol. Um, really quickly, it does say uh, it can get up to 150 FPS. There is 1000 balls uh, dehydrated included. Uh, quickly on the back you do get a 60 round capacity a couple tactical rails a trigger lock protective eyewear and the um, uh, Pull priming lever is on the bottom. So a cool little design there. Um, I like the fact how compact it is This would be a nice like a uh, sidearm uh, Of course if you don't want a fully automatic one or whatever, it wouldn't be bad to have this I guess in a certain scenario uh, We'll have to see how it performs and how it shoots uh -huh. But without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Of course, we're gonna use the uh, same orange balls we've been using for all the FPS testing and the same uh, Ace Tech uh, FPS tester. So everything's gonna remain the same, keep it as um, accurate as possible. So let's step this back a little bit. Let's unpackage it and get this show on the road. So let's set this right here for now. I will get close up on the the FPS counter here in a second. So let's just open this up, see what all you get in it. Let me get my handy dandy knife here. Uh, we are outside because it's so beautiful. The last few days are going to be beautiful. I think this coming weekend is going to be up to like 68 or 69 degrees. So spring is right around the corner, guys. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more flying this year. Um, you know, I've been dying to fly my new airplane my wife got me for my birthday because it was winter time when she got it. So I tend to not fly when it's really cold out. So there's going to be tons of content to come, guys. I just, I'm so excited uh, for everything. So in here, you do get a pack of a thousand, and then you also get a little manual. So we'll just keep that taped together, just like so for now. What else do you get in here? You're going to have to open this up probably from here. Yep. Flip these flaps up. It opens up, and then you have a couple uh, little um, kind of tabs or zip ties. I'm just going to pull them. Well, probably be easier to cut them, actually. Go ahead and cut all these little tabs. Just so we can free up the gun. Pull the gun out for now. And then, of course, I wear... I feel like every single gel blaster, no matter what its capabilities are, you should have it. Trust me. Even if it gets 100 FPS, I wouldn't want to get shot in the eye. Uh, so, definitely a good idea to have all this protective eyewear. You'll notice just about every gel blast that I've ever seen comes with eye, eye protection regardless where you buy it from so this is the eye protection that's included safety glasses so these should work uh not the nicest ones but they do work and they do protect your eyes so those are the safety glasses you get so uh without further ado let's go ahead and load it up and just see how the action and everything is and then of course we'll do some fps testing let's just throw this box over here for now i don't think we need to look at the manual it's pretty self-explanatory so the gun itself looks pretty nice actually i like it uh so you'd have to cock it oh yeah that's got some it's got a nice spring in it it's got it's got in the way it's designed oh yeah i could fire off some shots with it um it does have a trigger safety so if you push this this way it's not gonna let you shoot and then the safety's off it does have a little 60 hopper on it we could possibly modify that bigger, but I mean, 60 shots in a pistol is a lot. So 60 shots is what it holds. A little cap that goes on there. It almost looks like you could almost screw or modify and put something on top of there if you really wanted to. But I think that's more than enough. What does it say on top of here? Uh, we're required. I like the fact that they put something like that on there. Um, yeah. So not bad. A couple of little tactical rails. Technically, you could put something on there like a flashlight or a laser or something. Honestly, I think this is just fine. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and load this bad boy up. We'll shoot it a couple times. We'll see how far we can shoot with it. And then we'll, um, then we will do some FPS testing and give you my opinion on it. So, first notch releases water. I do need to put some. If uh, Another pro tip, these uh, seal very, very well. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to leave this too much longer in the sun. That's not a good idea. But, uh... After so much time, they say these balls go bad after three months. Not true. I've had them longer. Uh, what tends to happen is if you don't have it in a properly sealed uh, container like this, uh, what will happen is they'll dry out. So all you want to do is basically close this, make sure it's properly sealed, 
add a little water every once in a while, move it around, and then drain the water, of course, before you start to fill your guns. So I think that just helps. Uh, first setting will actually release the water. See if there is any water in there. And then, of course, you can do the other settings, which will give you balls. I'm not sure how well this is going to work for this, but we'll try it. All right. Look at that. fits perfectly. Give it a couple of shakes. 60. Should fill rather fast in this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then whenever you close it, you do end up breaking a couple of balls. I think that's full enough. We'll throw that one over there. Uh, go ahead and put the cap on. I'd say it's pretty full so let me go ahead and get this out of the sun because i don't want this getting uh heated up and then kind of you know have the water evaporate so we're gonna set this up out this way and we're gonna try to hit like the chair uh the owl which is way back there so we'll go like so and then we'll see how it hits the hair chair 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 and the owl so here we go for a shot might have needed a prime there we go Oh yeah, it shoots decent. If I can aim for the chair. Oh, it does have a little, um, kind of like a, like a little sight at first. I didn't pay attention, but there's a focus. There's actually a little sight and you can use that to help aim actually. You just gotta make sure you don't aim high like I do. Oh yeah, it works. You just point it right at the, where you wanna hit. Wow. I'm gonna lay me at my jacket right now. I am so close with the shots. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, that one was high. That one was so close. High. So close. Ah, you can shoot and pull. Do this. <laughs> if you hold the trigger and just pull it, it will just shoot. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Try to hit the owl. This is a little windy. Oh, it'll get the distance. I'm hitting, if you see the shot, I'm hitting the top of the fence way up there. So it's got some distance. Holy smokes. I think I can hit that owl. Let me try to use the aim this time. I was just kind of trying to follow the ball. Wow, I went through that many shots. I guess 60 isn't that much. I may be doing the mod because this is really fun to shoot. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned the price is what blew me away. 10 bucks. This is a $10 gel blaster. Holds 60 rounds. Shoots really, really well. Uh, let me get a quick refill going on here. So I'm really liking the way this shoots. I like the action of it uh, a lot. Uh, like this isn't by any means like a fully automatic gun or like I'm gonna brag about its performance probably. Even though, you know what? It's actually genuinely surprising me because that is a very far target. Like that out is not, I'm actually gonna really try to aim guys and we'll see what kind of performance I can get. That's way too high. Get it aimed back down. Ooh. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, hit it. Oh. Yep, too low. Too high. Oh, wait. There's even, you can even use the back end of the, oh, because there's like a sight. So you can see the back end little things. If you line that up with the sight, like you can line those two notches with the sight. Watch this. Ooh, too low. A little bit too low. Oh, oh I'm so close. Oh. Dude, I'm actually, like, I don't know how many of you guys shot gel blasters. They're never like, <laughs> oh, too high. too high but the, the thing is is do you see how straight that's going and it's actually very windy like like look how far it can go 
I mean, it goes far. Okay. <laughs> I still have some shots left. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust so you guys can get some FPS performance results. So we are in 0.2 for weight and 7.5 for size. And here we go. First shot. 165 immediately went more than what it says 168 155 156 149 162 156 157 161 Wow, the lowest I seen was like 149 or 148 or something. So that is really impressive. Actually, we can go look at the list. Average was 161. Look at that. Let's go ahead and focus on that. Come on, focus. You can do it. There we go. Well, no. Look at that. Look at that. Incredible. There we go incredible performance for a little cox action pistol i could totally hit someone easily with this let's try to hit the candle thing focus people come on there we go see the candle here we go oh too high nailed it too high Oh, barely to the right. Nailed it. Too high. Nailed it. Nailed it. Dude, the sight on this is incredible. Oh, barely to the and I'm out. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. If you've seen my previous videos, I am a terrible shot. So this sight is incredible, and I cannot believe how accurate this little pistol is. And it's $9.99. I, I, that's you can't even get food good food for that price the only thing i could see happening though is you will go through this ammo quickly i feel like they should have i mean for 9.99 maybe they could have gave us at least 5,000 balls i think would have been better uh let me try on the glasses really quickly uh let me try on the glasses see what i think about the glasses oh just basic safety glasses comfortable enough i would definitely definitely wear uh safety glasses uh with his gun just because it performs so well i've seen it up to 168 165 uh and never really went below 150 but like once <laughs> and it was consistently you know 155 to 168 65 155 to 165 i would say pretty consistently the average ended up being 161 so really high average because i got a lot of them in the 160s so the average ended up being 161 which is very impressive for something that claims 150. i did have an asterisk by it which made sense because it was performing actually even better than that and make sure i pick up this plastic because i don't want something to eat it so for my dog so uh yeah just really blown away by it um really blown away by it it absolutely performed amazing uh, it looks good. It feels really ergonom er er what's that word? ergonomical in the hand. Just very like the way that dovetail is here, the way it fits in your palm, the trigger just feels amazing. Let's make sure there's nothing in there. Or you could just do this. <laughs> But yeah, seems to be really durable. Feels like good plastic. Feels like it's got a good, strong spring in there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I really like this pistol. Really, out of the cock action pistols, I like it better than the other uh, gel fire pistol that's a little bit bigger. I can't think of the name right now. It is spring fired as well. Uh, I think this... The FPS is similar, I get it, but I feel like this one shoots straighter, further, more accurate, 
the hopper is a little bit small that it's so fun to shoot that's how you know it's fun to shoot when a six, 60 round hopper on a single you know action gun or you know cock spring loaded gun or whatever runs out that quick that tells you you're having fun you're shooting a lot you're enjoying it so it may be worth it to try to like somehow attach a bottle to the top of this it may pop on or i don't know like there may be a way to do that and have like a bottle or whatever but i feel like that's gonna take away from the aimer so you can see like the the notches there it like line make sure you line it up and you can actually turn it a little bit if it's going one way or another help you maybe i don't know i just line those up and it's very very accurate like i could definitely hit a person like i'm aiming at small objects i could definitely hit a I mean a person's gonna be like that tree so i was hitting that tree just about every time it was either going a little bit right a little bit high a little bit low hence why you wear the glasses but it just blew me away so i just had to share this with you guys i came across it a couple days ago uh, at target um target has ma majority of the gel fire products uh you will see like a couple at walmart or a couple here and there but target typically carries their full line um and i did not see this i don't know if they sold out or they just got them in if this is a newer one but this one um first time i saw it at target um first time i've ever seen this at target and i was really really impressed uh with its performance and price ten dollars worth it all day long if you have younger kids i'm not saying too young but uh, i wouldn't say teenagers either if you have well teenagers obviously but uh you can have younger teenagers or whatever and you want them to get in the gel blasters but you're worried they're really going to hit each other and hurt each other uh make sure they weigh their safety glasses uh, not to say that this wouldn't hurt if you get shot with now and typically i do the shooting test um my wife is typical and administrate it i will shoot myself really quickly uh with this gun close range so that'd be like a worst case scenario i guess you could you could say uh, obviously if you're not wearing eye protection and getting eyes that would be worst case scenario honestly to be understood honest with you so a couple broken balls went in there there we go I make sure these balls go through the crack and it falls in the deck where my dog can't get it so there we go it's okay birdie i'm not gonna mess with you so i'm going to shoot myself first let's back up and down first i'm going to shoot myself like in the leg so here we go pretty close yeah you could definitely feel that you get hit there's no mistaking it so first chest shot oh yeah you can definitely feel it hit you I wouldn't say it's the most painful, but it doesn't feel good either. Uh, and that's like extremely close range, right? Like that's, you know, it will explode too. Um, the back, I think, would really hurt. Uh, it, you definitely, there's no, you didn't shoot me. And I wouldn't say this is the most painful one either. Uh, but it, but you can definitely tell you shot someone. Is this a piece of paper or something? Oh, that's from the uh, unboxing. Make sure I pick that up. So yeah, guys, just a really, really nice pistol. I'm really, really liking this a lot. Like I said, more than the twenty dollar one, I would buy two of these before I'd buy the twenty dollar one. That is my personal opinion. Um, you know, take that as you may. That is my personal opinion. If you have that gun, I'm not saying it's crappy or anything. But this, to me, is a better way of shooting. I can't remember how that one cocks. It may have even the same exact thing, but I just really like this one a lot. Like, it is very, very accurate, surprisingly. And it sounds good. You can you feel that it's got some power. Um, yeah, so there's some birdies out there trying to enjoy some seed. I'm not going to keep shooting this, but it was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I had an absolute blast. Like I said, I try to use the same balls. Uh, gel fire bars are decent. Uh, I try to use the same balls for the testing just because of the FPS, and I just don't want to take any. I want to take any uh, factors that could be different, like heavier balls tend to perform a little better sometimes, or a lighter ball performs worse. So I really wanted the same uh, similar weight balls uh, just for the performance testing side of it. So that's why I don't ever use what comes with them. Uh, gel fire is decent, so I don't think you have to worry about. It. Technically, these are all X shot balls, which are 
the heavier ones I've tested, I've tested, I think, uh, the blue ones, which came with uh, splatter ball. Uh, those were a little bit lighter. So I did end up going with, um, with the X shot just because I pretty much tested it for all the other ones. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Just, I, I know I'm going on a little bit longer on this one. Uh, just because I really, really like it. I definitely recommend this as a fun little running around the yard. Still, please, please wear glasses. Don't be afraid to wear like a hoodie. It's a little chilly out. Wear a hoodie. That helps. You know, make sure you have some rules. No point blank stuff. No shooting in the face. Body, you know what I mean? Preferably lower body from, you know, from the chest down and that way it's just a lot safer for everyone even if you wear glasses that you get shot in the glass i guarantee the glasses are going to protect you um but accidents can happen so just be aware of that but yeah i just had an absolute ball with this that's really refreshing i'm super happy it performs the way it does the trigger lock works well it will not do anything if you have the safety on which is a good idea to uh teach them yeah it, it's really really good great job on this one i like it a lot Probably one of my favorite, that's ironic, one of my favorite gel blasts. Yeah, I like the uh, uh, gel line from uh, Nerf. Don't get me wrong, there's way better guns out there. But from Nerf, this is one of my favorite spring action. Yeah, the shot one's, shotgun's good. The sniper rifle's pretty good. But for a pistol, for that spring loaded, I think this is definitely my favorite. Uh, it doesn't beat like a fully automatic pistol, but you know. So there you have it, guys. So that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.